meu povo, tudo bom com vocês? Recentemente estreou no catálogo do Prime Video a segunda temporada da série The Wilds, que é super textão e traz umas tramas ali pra gente refletir e analisar com olhos diferenciados. E a galera do Prime me convidou pra bater um papo com o elenco, tanto as meninas da primeira temporada, quanto os meninos dessa segunda temporada que trazem aí um outro olhar desses experimentos loucos que acontecem ali na história. Acompanha aí então o meu papo com eles e deixa aqui nos comentários se você curte The Wilds e principalmente se você você gostaria de ter um vídeo aqui no canal comentando um pouquinho sobre essas duas temporadas. Espero que vocês curtam. Não esquece de deixar o like e de se inscrever aqui no canal se você ainda não for inscrito. Have you noticed any new vibes between some of the people here? I'm sorry, but I'm done with her. We all started wanting to be things. We wanted to be men. This is only the beginning. But the truth is, some of us were becoming monsters. How are you guys? Good. How are you doing? How are you doing? Fine. I'm glad to talk to you. First of all, I'd like you to talk about, about your character. Who is your character and what can we expect? Hello, my name is Reed. I play Scotty Sims. He is a young entrepreneur. He's a fast talker, a, a big talker of his and, and his best friend's life from the Florida Panhandle. He has been stranded <laughs> and, you know, he's just trying to, trying to, just like everybody else, trying to figure out how to, how to survive. Hi, I'm Tanner. I play Bo Leonard. Bo's a very soft-spoken, contemplative kind of guy. He's really big, but he has the sort of vibe of like a lost puppy, just wants to sort of be there and like comfort you. And um, yeah, I'd say that's about it. Yeah, so I play Ivan Taylor, who um, is an aspiring playwright and activist from Seattle. He's very into fashion. He's very into what's happening online. Um, very online personality, Twitter fingers. Um, but he's got a, a bit of an edge to him. He uses his words a bit cuttingly um, and he takes things a bit too far. Yeah, it was a, it was a real blast to play him. I love him a lot. <laughs> Uh, I play the character of Josh Herbert. He is a rich kid. <laughs> he's a bit of a neurotic guy. He's, you could say he's the world's first human medicine cabinet. <laughs> Basically <laughs> like anything that could go wrong probably will go wrong with Josh. But um, underneath all of that stress and panic, he's a really nice kid and he honestly just wants to fit in. And yeah, he's a great guy. Do you have a favorite character from season one? I'd say from season one, my favorite character is probably Fatten. I think she's great. <laughs> she brings the joy and the party and um, yeah. <laughs> um, I think my favorite character is probably definitely Shelby, just because she's got um, quite the transformation from the beginning of the season to the end. Uh, she's funny, she's challenged, she, she's dynamic <laughs> for sure. <laughs> My favorite is Fatten, for sure. Her, she's <laughs> sass, the style, she's, she's dope. <laughs> I gotta go with Dot because of her music taste mainly, but also she won me over with that whole dance in the first season. That was one of my favorite sequences. So good. <laughs> Hi girls, glad to meet you. Hi, nice to meet you. thank you. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hi. What can we expect from your characters in season two? It's definitely the happiest we've ever seen Shelby. It's definitely the most um, unguarded we've seen her. And she, she, it's, it's interesting because I think Shelby carries a lot of shame and guilt around who she is. Once she tries to expel that and, you know, let herself fall into a union with Tony, that shame seems to kind of follow her and, and creep up in other places. And she's, so she's still struggling with a lot of, a lot of her demons, a lot of um, her issues, but it's definitely the most joy we've seen from her as well. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think Tony, It's the calmest we've seen her and sort of the most, you know, in control of her emotions, not letting them control her. And I think between the two of us, yeah, just learning how to love each other and how to be loved and accepting that love and the challenges um, that come up. 
for both of us in that space. For Fat, I think that she um, she settles really nicely. Something I admire about her a little bit. You know, I'm, I need an adjustment period, but I think she displays this really cool um, acceptance sort of of where she's at and finds a role within it. And that she sort of struggles with because I don't think she's used to being motherly or like taking care of people. And she sort of has to do that. Um, but it's, yeah, no, it's really, I, it's, yeah, it's cool. It's, it's cool to see it's um, her evolve in that way. She, you know, she was so polarizing before and so like out there and kind of um, selfish. So yeah, it's cool to see that, how that transpired. <laughs> that make that word doesn't fit there but you know what I mean in terms of uh Martha I would say she's like even though she's like going through a really hard time in her life and the really like the worst situation you could possibly be in she's still like taking her life back like she's finding it in herself to beat the elements and all her like mentally the things that are hindering her she's just slowly just gaining her strength back and learning to fight back with what's around her which is like you know, the wilderness, like learning to survive and like surviving her traumas. I think for Dot, I think it's just learning that she can, it's okay for her to be cared for and that she has this support network finally that she's always been searching for and they are there for her. Uh, As friends once said, I'll be there for you. And I think it's very accurate in a dot scenario (laughs) all these girls rally together and really um, support her and she's able to be cared for, which is something that she never had, which is which is really cute this season. You can expect her to bond with a lot of the other girls on the island. You can expect her to go through her process of tor- turmoil and like dealing with trauma um, and grief and just learning how to become human again, essentially. She was very much so a machine season one and was starting that process of learning to just be human and that's okay. I think we dive further into that in different ways this season. I think that Leah in season one learns that her mind can run faster than reality. And in season two, she has that awareness and is beginning to learn how to walk that line by trusting her gut, but also not you know, spiraling out of control. She doesn't always get that right, but it's, it's a work in progress for sure. And how was having the boys in the season with you? I loved it. Yeah, I love it too. (laughs) Yeah, we've made like really great friends with them as well. And they're all so incredibly talented that I think everyone's going to be blown away by the boys this season. And it's really, really exciting. Yeah, I think um, I think in terms of the show, having eight more people, it gives the show even more room to really dive into the complexities of different people's life experiences and what happens when you put them in a certain situation. And with certain people and then personally it was just you know I sometimes like I just couldn't believe my luck are you waking up in a beautiful place we filmed in Australia and it was with you know 15 other people that were all very similar you know in in my age and so I was sort of on this big beach working vacation I guess with very just as individual as their characters are in the show they they are like that in real life as well we couldn't see them we could hear them the boys with perfect control group. We're not alone here. What's wrong with you? You just care as well. You know, it's disgusting. There is no question they imploded. She's gone and it is my fault! You deserve every good thing in this world. You ever feel like you were up against something? Relentless. And what does the wilds mean? to you in your careers or personally best job ever (laughs) it's my first job so it's like heyday (laughs) yeah (laughs) i think the wilds is such a um a cool title for a teen Mm -hmm. show um not just because there's trapped on an island but because i think that's sort of how you feel um Mm -hmm. at least like i'm you know in my mid-20s and i feel like i'm just now like reaching the end of feeling like I am volatile and wild and just unpredictable and I don't know what I'm feeling at what points and stuff and that's sort of what's happening in your mind when you're that age everything's Mm. just wild I love that (laughs) I take Sophia's answer (laughs) the world's a strength the world's is power the world's is 
owning those insecurities and, and those weaknesses that give you that strength in life. I think the wilds is just like power, strength, positivity, life. The Wilds is a fantastic show in that it's sort of using this um, vehicle of this grand social experiment with these life and death stakes to sort of highlight the everyday drama of being a regular teenager. In particular, what I love about it is how each character is sort of highlighted as their own individual full body person with mistakes and strengths and flaws and uh, learning lessons. And rarely, I think, in in shows do we get to see so many characters with so many backgrounds, um, different socioeconomic backgrounds, different um, upbringings, different ways of looking at the world, highlighted in their own very dynamic, very real way. So it's beautiful little uh, character studies on so many people. It's nice. You know, The Wilds for me is a story about teenagers and the coming of age. Um, you see all these different characters going through all these different journeys on this wild experience where they're trapped on an island in the middle of nowhere. And um, I think the show is quite, quite thrilling and it touches on a lot of subjects that I'd consider normally like taboo that you don't see in traditional television. And I think that's a really powerful and important thing. The show means a lot. Uh, for me personally, this is really my first big step into this industry. And I'm just excited to be able to do this with Reed and with the girls and all the rest of the boys. I, I couldn't ask for a, a better team. I got a I got a second that, you know, this this is the biggest thing I've I've been a part of, you know, and I also I I loved the show before I even got a chance to audition. And and so it was just kind of cool being able to to meet all the girls and meet the rest of the guys that we were going to be working with. And, you know, it's just a it's a it's a show that really shows a, a tender side of of high schoolers and teenagers in America. And it's a beautiful thing to be a part of, for sure. Personally, I just I'm really happy to be on a show that like I love any role that's going to bring out the humanity and let people really see real things that people are going through and I don't think often you get to see that with teenagers and so to be on a show where you're getting to see the humanities of teenagers and that's talked about and really explored heavily I think is really amazing to be a part of um, personally and then to for career wise, I mean, we get to have we have opportunities to really grow and challenge ourselves as actors. And that's something I'm really, really grateful for. Yeah, the um, the writing in the show gives so many opportunities to really fill out a role, um, whether it's you know, moments of levity or some something you know very raw, sort of unfiltered emotions. Um, it's just been so exciting to work on as an actor, and then also have be able to witness all of those moments in my fellow castmates. It's just very special. I mean, it's yeah, it's it's just very very special to me, and I. It wasn't only my first job, but it was you know, my first job and these people were a part of it. So it will just always have a very, very special place in my heart. I mean, the wilds will always be this thing in my life that just changed and continues to change everything. It's something it, that being a part of that I just, it's like huge, huge dreams come true. Working and then being able to f find friendships with all of these women. You know, especially Erina has, it's been such a, I just can't, like, you can't make this shit up. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> it's just been um, <laughs> the most fabulous journey. And I've been, I'm just so grateful every single day. I just am like counting my blessings. I'm just so grateful that I was, that I was tapped on the shoulder, you know, and shown in, shown this beautiful, beautiful thing in this beautiful project, yeah. these beautiful people. Um, it's been an honor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it really, I think in terms of like the, like, in my career as well like being a part of this show that with all of our female creators and um you know mm. female cast and and making making it known and making a mark in our first season in that way like mm -hmm. is always just going to mean so so much to me being a young person and just like owning that space with all of you guys like yeah so amazing and then also like as Mia said it's just gonna I mean this show's changed my life forever because I've met the start of the wonderful Mia Healy. Yeah. Mia, just last one. How was your hair experience? I mean, it's so much fun. Every time I have to get into a wig or a bald cap, it's just like the best day ever. I feel like I could just like <laughs> run around on set all day. I love it. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I don't know 
even really why I just feel like I get into this like mood it's like <laughs> happiest you'll find me on set is if I've got a bald cap on that's a fact but it's <laughs> it's so much fun chopping and changing different things because I feel like my hair's been the same for so long so it's so fun to have this character that I get to experiment different things with <laughs> okay thank you girls thank you. It's so lovely to meet you. I hope the season two will be a success thank you so much thank you, thank you Chris Thank, Thank you. you. Lovely to meet Bye. you. Thank, Thank you so much. You. Thank you. Have a good day. I am you. Everything that you have been through, the same thing happened to me. Don't.